In this section, I'm going to build a couple of checks using the Advanced Check Builder. First, I'm going to create a brand new check set. Next, I'm going to come right up here to the Advanced Check Builder dialog. Here, I'm going to create my check. So let's talk about this check. First, I'm going to actually create this check in order to, to look for generic models inside my model. I want it to fail if it matches criteria that I set for this particular check. So in other words, I want this to fail if it finds any generic models inside my model. So first, I'm going to name it. I'm just going to call it generic models. Next I'm going to go through the description just make sure that I know what this model checker is going to do. And then my failure message here I could just say generic models are placed. For my check result, since I do want it to fail if it matches elements using the criteria that I set in filters, I'm going to say fail when matching elements are found. I can also say fail when no matching elements are found, count of matching elements only, or count and list matching elements. I'm going to say fail when matching elements are found. Here I can say set this check to run by default and for this particular check I don't want any generic models in my model at all. So I'm going to say show as required. This is a hard check and if even one generic model shows or appears inside my model it's going to fail. So now I'm ready to define my criteria. I could do that down here in the filters area. If I'm ready I'm going to add in a filter. First, it gives me the operator, criteria, property, the condition, and any value that I want these items to match. For this particular check, all I really need to do is just define the category that I want to check. By clicking the property name or the property dialog drop down, I can look through this list. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down until I see OST generic models. There it is. I'm going to say include this property and I want it to equal true. So I want to look for generic models. If that particular family matches that property, I want it to be included in this check. Next, I want the check to actually report what I'm looking for. I need to add in another filter. When I add in the filter, now I can change my operator, criteria, property, and condition, and the value. Here, I'm going to change my operator to OR. And then here, I can change my criteria. Now for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it check my instances. So what I'm going to do is change my operator to AND, change my criteria to be type or instance. I'm going to keep it element type for the property. The condition is going to be set to equal. But I'm going to change my code here. What I want this to do is to look for just instances. So I'm going to change my value here from true to false. When I have type or instance equals false, this means I'm only looking at placed instances in my model. If I'm looking for just a list of my types, I want to make it true. But for this, I just want it placed instances in my model.
Now I'm ready for this check. I can just come up here and click on add. This check was added and has been placed in the unused checks list. I'm going to click on OK. So now if I come over here to my check set structure and organization, of course I can add in the heading, add in the section, and here's my generic models. It's now ready for me to use. Let's build a little bit more of an advanced check. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to Advanced Check Builder, and if I'm ready for a new check, I'm going to click on New. For this one, I want to make sure that I actually have system furniture placed inside my model, and I want them to be cubicles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this cubicles placed. For description, I'm going to say checks if cubicles are placed in the model. Failure message, I'm going to say no cubicles are placed. And for the check set re results, of course, I don't want it to fail when I match elements. I want it to fail if there are no elements. And for this guy, I'm going to say show is required. I need cubicles inside this model. Now I'm ready to add in my filters. I'm going to add my first line criteria. I'm going to make sure that it's looking for system furniture. And for this particular item, it's actually furniture systems. I'm going to say include and equals true. Now I need to kind of think about this. I know I have other furniture systems inside my model, but I need to further break this down so I'm looking just for cubicles. So let's say that in my model I have a parameter that equals cubicle. Okay. Well first I need to know what the parameter is called. And for this particular parameter, I actually created a parameter called furniture type. Furniture type is a parameter that I added myself inside my model. This allows me to differentiate it between cubicles and other kinds of system furniture. So note that when you have parameters inside your model, user defined parameters, system parameters, things like that, you can further use those parameters in your filters to break down your check. I'm going to come over here to add filter. I'm going to say include a parameter. And here I'm going to type in my parameter. I'm going to say furniture type. Also note that I don't have to use my specific parameter. I can use other parameters here that are associated to the furniture system families. I'm going to say equals, and since it is a specific parameter that I am looking for and a specific value that I'm looking for, I'm going to come over here and include my particular value. I know that for every cubicle, I know that furniture type equals cubicle. In the preview, you, note, you notice here that it says OST furniture systems include true and parameter furniture type equals cubicle. I'm going to add this I'm down here to my check set. Here it is. And I can add it right to my section. Of course, if I'm good and ready, I can click on save and now use this check set in my model.